Hi friends, I am Professor Dr. Mahul Brahma. I am a professor and dean school of media and communication at Adamus University and I am a fellow at Batspa University UK. This is a lecture series on communication and branding, various strategies and how to utilize communication in day to day lives from CEOs to students. So today's uh, lecture is on strategic communication. Now there are naysayers who say that uh, uh, there is a tendency of adding the word strategy to anything and everything. So strategic communication may be something like that but it isn't. Uh, Strategic communication is basically the need of how communication has evolved. So let me go back a little and explain to you what communication was, especially public relations and corporate communications was before the digital era and how it changed and how today communications and PR is playing a critical role in market making. So earlier, <coughs> the, the role of communication, the role of PR in the corporate sector was, uh, re was reactive. So, so there used to be some event happening and then the corporate communicator will, will frame a press release after the event has happened and, and there will be the various aspects of, of the event, a quote from the managing director and all that. And the press release will go to the media, the, the corporate communicator or the PR person will convince the editors to take that news and the story will be out in the newspapers. So this is a pre-digital era. In the post-digital era, this is no longer the case. The role of corporate communicators has evolved. It is no longer reactive it has now become proactive. So if you can understand earlier the strategy that, that it was made in such a way that the strategic objective of the organization is achieved and then post facto the, the news is published in the newspapers and for that the communicator is required or public relations is required. However, post the digital era, you know, a crisis can, can start in, in a tweet, a crisis can start in a song and similarly market making can start with a tweet, market making can start with a song and who else than a corporate communicator knows how to handle the, the plethora of the digital instruments like a Twitter or, or a YouTube or an Instagram or a LinkedIn or a Facebook to utilize them so that the organization achieves a strategic objective. Let me give you an example. Suppose an organization wants to open its office in a new geography, say outside the country. Okay. Now, during that time, earlier what used to happen is that the organization would be <coughs> sending its people to, to do a research, ground research, then the admin people will go to set up shop, the business development people will go to tap the potential clients and everything will be set, the off office would be ready the client, uh, potential clients will be ready and then the corporate communicator will come and uh, publish that news of say the inauguration of the office in India or in the, in abroad wherever the geography is targeted. That time has changed. Now, in the strategic objective when there is an objective of overseas expansion, 
the role of the corporate communications head, uh, the role of the public relations head starts from there. Along with the marketing team, what they do is something called market making. So basically this term is used to make a market. So earlier the market would be made and the corporate communicator would be called after everything is done to publish that news. Now, strategic communication is here because the corporate communicator or the corporate communications head or PR head or director is basically helping in making that market, in creating that market. So the corporate communicator will go there, work with the business development team, work with the marketing team and to create an awareness that such an organization is there in India and is coming here and uh, you know these are its USPs and what will be the advantage when this organization comes. Liaisoning with the local media, liaisoning with the potential clients you know to understand that what kind of news is worth in that specific geography. So this strategic input is required, this strategic effort is required to be given by the corporate communicator. And hence strategic communication. So basically communication is playing a critical, critical role in helping the corporate achieve its strategic objective. So as you can see that there is a growth story and communications is playing a critical role in this growth story, in making the growth story happen. So it is a key driver in pushing the growth story of the corporate and that is why corporate communicators today rise to the level of directors, to the board level. Because organizations, corporate India and internationally are, are opening up to the need of communication to play a strategic role in taking their growth story forward. So this is why strategic communication has become a key element in driving the growth of the corporate. Thank you.